Can you introduce yourself and your role behind the documentary? My name is Elliot Smith and I am Artistic Director of Elliot Smith Dance based in Newcastle upon Tyne, England. And I am the creator and director of a new documentary titled Sequel and Nightingale. Where did the inspiration come from for the documentary? The inspiration came when I originally wanted to create a work digitally based upon the life of Florence Nightingale, as well as shining a light on the NHS. And I approached one of the directors at Elliot Smith Dance and shared with him the idea. And then he said, why don't you create a documentary, a first for Elliot Smith Dance? And he also later introduced me to the life of Mary Seacole. And just reading a few lines on Mary's story, I realised then that she had to be uh, one of the focal points in this documentary. So Seacole and Nightingale and shining a light on the NHS. Can you share more about Mary Seacole, Florence Nightingale and the documentary? Mary Seacole and Florence Nightingale um, are two remarkable women, but come from two very different backgrounds, uh, but have one thing in common, and it's this help for humanity. Uh, Florence Nightingale was born in Italy when her mother and father were on vacation, uh, but was brought up in England, and we know her as being the pioneer of modern nursing. Mary Seacole was born in Jamaica, was brought up in Jamaica, her mum was Jamaican, but her father was Scottish, and she was brought up in a working class background at a time when slavery was around. So for these two women, um, it's very much relevant, their story today, more so because at the time when they were helping humanity during the um, Crimean War, them two were going through a similar pandemic as we are today. Back then it was the cholera pandemic and today we're facing the coronavirus, COVID-19. Um, so I think their stories is very much relevant and needs to be speaked on. Again, even more so when we to look at the Black Lives Movement and what Mary Seekel can do to inspire those from various different backgrounds too. Who is involved? Uh, there is various artists involved. Um, I'll try my best to quickly list them. Um, we have Yamit Salasar, who's our rehearsal director, who helps me to draw out some of my ideas and make them possible. We have a, a multi-award winning composer, Adam Johnson. We have uh, um, Jason Thompson, who's our filmmaker. We have Bernadette Corrigan, who is a North East based uh, drawing artist. We've been working with a local uh, primary school where the children have been creating a new poem. Uh, we've been, have a costume advisor, Andrew Gregson. We have the um, talented Elliot Smith Company dancers. Um, so altogether, it's such an indisciplinary documentary because we've also been working with the NHS, the medical staff who have been interview interviewing them uh, and their stories are just both personally and professionally are just so inspiring. And finally, we've also been in collaboration with the Mary Seacole Trust and the Florence Nightingale Museum. Were there any challenges during the process and creation? Uh, surprisingly, there wasn't that many challenges. Uh, I think if there was one, um, I would say was the social distancing. Um, as a choreographer, I love to create duets, trios, quartets using the body uh, uh, together um, or contact work. Uh, but unfortunately, respectively, we couldn't um, do that because of um, the current two metres distancing. Um, but I think the dancers and the creatives have really risen to the challenge and I, I just think for what we've created during the uh, lockdown and restrictions, I think is quite exciting and I hope that is portrayed uh, at use at home. Where can people watch the documentary? Uh, the premiere of this documentary is on the 13th of August at 7.30pm and will be available to watch online uh, from then. Uh, it'll be available via our website, that's elliotsmithdance.com forward slash Seacle and Nightingale. And you will be able to also keep up to a lot of updates on our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, um, uh, Facebook via at Elliot Smith Dance. Whenever I get issues and I get problems, I remember she persevered, she kept going, so I can do that too. Florence Nightingale has been um, 
like the role model for, for nursing. And Mary Seacole herself as well in terms of having the, uh, the equality and diversity.